everybody how are you i hope you're all really well welcome back to my youtube channel uh if you haven't been here before i am lauren lauren renee is my channel um but yeah i'm a little vlogger youtube vlogger that loves fashion travel and lifestyle so that's what we're doing um we're doing a lovely little shoe not haul today but like shoe spring showing off i've had all these shoes for quite a bit of time but but as we are now at least in Australia, well and truly into spring. I'm sorry if like my pale face, I've got a white dress on. Um, as obviously we're in spring here in Australia and you know, it's getting a little bit warmer. And so finally some shoes are getting a little bit more wear. I did wear a couple of these in winter. So you would have seen before, but, but you know, now that it's spring, they're, they're, they're in their elements. So, uh, I've got four different shoes to show you because I wanted to show you something that you could style up yourself You can find easily online anywhere that I, you know, one of them is a, is technically a dupe actually um, And you know that you could style up work wear going out wear um, Just day wear anything because obviously as you all know that um, I work in the corporate industry So I want something that I couldn't transition from going to work to going to out for dinner or out for drinks after work or you know where to a party anything like that so without further ado i'm going to show you these four shoes and style them up each a different way that you know gives you a bit of an idea what you could pair them with or you know if you want to go through any of my other fashion videos i always style up with a different shoe so you'll see these coming coming into play quite a few times so first up i'm going to show you one of my favorites and it's been here for a long time unfortunately i got these a few years ago and didn't understand suede or suad however you say it and taking care of them so they're they've, they've been through a bit of a bit of trauma but we're going to deal with it anyway so these are my beautiful um green i'm literally blocking the, the what's bad about it um is my zara green suede slip-on shoes you can see like they are just a beautiful suede that's green they're a little bit older they've got a stretchy back on the back zara there i'm a large so nice big 41 because i'm very tall i'm five foot ten for reference so that's why my shoes are so big but i'm in proportion so it's fine but they've got a lovely little anyway <laughs> they've got a lovely little point at the end which does buckle a little bit because i've had these probably about four years so yeah and then they've got just like the black underneath of the strippy thing with buying suede shoes please buy a protectant because i obviously have it they have scuffed themselves and that's something that i really can't fix unfortunately you know i'm because i love these so much i still wear them you know they're not on the outside so i'm not too worried they're on the inside of the shoe where it goes for me at least this is also a deep Oh, we can't see what I'm pointing at. This is also a deeper part because my feet are larger. Um, my toe, like just the tips of my toes show. So if that's something you're not into, definitely take that into consideration. I don't like my toes, but I get over it because these are lovely and green. So yeah, you can sort of see the tips of my toes. I have done a little video cutaway, so I will cut away to showing you the shoe up close on. Um, with these, yeah, I just love them. They're perfect. I have worn these to work before. I think I've shown in a, in my corporate video styling oh. video that I wore these just with a plain black, black dress. And, you know, they just give that little bit of pop of color and take us into spring. Of course, everything is green. So why would this not be the perfect green? I also see it. It's because it's quite a vibrant green. This would be perfect to wear with an outfit if you wanted to go out. And, like, it's almost Christmas. Like, I can't believe it's almost Christmas, but these are like the perfectly Christmas vibey shoes if you really want it, that kind of thing. Um, but perfect. I really, I love wearing these to work. I also have worn these before to a friend's graduation ceremony or graduation like presentation and styling that up. I have actually started up the way I've worn it before. So I started up with loose, uh, almost not see-through, but like a really loose like linen-y white shirt with a bit of gold buttoning on the detailing on it. I've got it with some high-waisted grey shorts with a lovely grey belt, belted tie in the same fabric. I love those little details, you know, all of the same that it like gives it that little bit more of an elevation than without having the belt and without, you can use a like colored belt. I could use a black belt if I really wanted to, but I think that that would just be too harsh on this outfit. I think with these shoes, they're a very delicate item. So nothing too harsh to really make it the outfit overbearing. So that's why everything was in their solid colors. And again, I'm sticking to my 
my rule of three disregarding my hair in this instance because I got a what my white top and my gray shorts and the green shoes but it's just a little bit of fun and I absolutely adore these so definitely something you want to consider with spring shoe wear it is great to have those different as much as I want shoes that and all items of, of clothing that I've spoken about on this channel before I'm really like leaning right now <laughs> is cultivating that wardrobe that really can go across so many different things and whilst having this in such a color really goes not against what I've been saying about having me trying to stick with those neutral tones I obviously bought this well before that was something that I was implementing into my wardrobe but because this is such a color and because I've been able to style it up different ways I you know as I've mentioned that black dress the outfit that I would have uh, just put on with the white shirt and the shorts and I've styled this up with my long white pants before I know I will get wear out of this. So if you know you'll get wear out of something, it doesn't matter what color it is, doesn't matter what pattern it is, if you know you're gonna get them, your money's worth, go for it. So that's my first little spring shoe. Also, this is also elastic, just so you know, so it like clings onto me. Though I will note that sometimes if I'm walking too much in them, they'll just slip down. So maybe that taken into that into consideration. If you're planning on walking around all day, you're gonna be hoiking these up. So yeah. Definitely for consideration. Next up in my shoe collection, I'm gonna get tissue. Ah. So, next up in my shoe collection, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna, I've got two of my four shoes. I've got two neutral and two colorful. So I've shown you one colorful. So I'll show you a neutral one next. Actually, no, I'm gonna show you the. I've just shown you the green. I'm gonna show you the two neutral, and then I'm gonna save my absolute favorite for last, which is so exciting. Um, anyway. I'm getting too excited about my shoes. Next up, I've got these beautiful brand, not brand new, but like I've had these only for a couple of months is some nude loafers. I bought these from ASOS. They're great. They're, you know, if you can see in there, they got the base there with the ASOS. I got these, does this say my size? It says a size eight. I think it's a size eight UK because I'm definitely not a size eight Australia. Yep, it's got like the faux leather across there. Oh, okay, here we go. UK, it's on the inside, so you can't really like see under there. UK 8, EU 41, US 10. Yeah. So I make EU European 41. Yeah. It's got a little heel on the base there with the grip in. And yeah, it's a great little shoe for just like continuing your feet, continuing your, continuing your feet, continuing the length of your legs without having to put a heel on. I love this. It's great when I have such a stark outfit on or something that I just want to, you know, I don't want a crazy shoe. I don't want, so I want something comfortable and something that he's got to get, you know, not be the focal point of my outfit. And you know, it's great for work where standing in one of these all day is so easy than standing in a heel. And it's such an elegant little thing on its own. It's not, trying to speak too loud, you know, comparing it to the green shoe, you want the green shoe to stand out. You want the green shoe to definitely be like, oh my God, you're wearing, those are really cool shoes. I wore them the other day with my little black dress and people were like, cool shoes. That's not what I want from these. They're great for spring because they're that, that light, nudie, blushy tone, but I want them to just be seamless with my outfit. I want them to like, not get lost in my outfit, but just not these aren't the focal point and these aren't the statement. They're the easy thing that make it all seamlessly go together and make my outfit a beautiful and com is complimentary to it. So nude loafers, so good, so comfortable. I've mentioned that already, but yes. Styling these up. Oh, someone just subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hello. Um, <laughs> and while I'm filming a video, that's exciting. So back onto my shoes. I styled these up um, with my country road white jeans, like my white flowy jeans with the buttons on it. I've also got it with a off-white, like a creamy, um, almost nudie toned singlet top with a green flowy over trench coat over top. It's spring, you know, here we're experiencing La Nina, which is all this rain. So I didn't mind wearing something a little bit warmer, something that has those layers that I can strip off, it has the greens, has the white, has the nudie tone, something, you know, as we're transitioning from winter to spring, something that takes me through that. So this is really great. I, you know, didn't 
with if I wore something more stark, something much more vibrant or just darker, it would have really cut off my outfit, like I've mentioned. So these, you know, it extends my leg and you get you just the only thing I can think of is you get lost in it, but that's not what I mean. For want of a better saying or word. But yes, nude loafers are definitely a staple you want to have in your wardrobe. So easy that you can throw them on with any outfit and they absolutely complement pretty much everything. And I really can't go past them. I'm really looking to invest in a couple more different, at least different shades, maybe different styles. Some, you know, I have my black uh, lo loafers that have the gold buckle on the top rather than this has the le same leather on the, on the top. So that's something I definitely would do. But yeah, nude loafers. Absolute staple all round. Staple for spring especially, but a bit staple all round. So go buy some lewd, nude loafers. If that's the one thing you take away from this, buy lewd, nude loafers. On to my next shoe. Now that I've just really been like <laughs> um, is another like nude tan shoe something that I've been looking for for ages uh, Chanel has a beautiful version of this which you know one day I do want to buy at the moment it's not on my radar to buy Chanel shoes I'm looking more at buying you know fa fancier bags so shoes I'm not too worried about but I wanted this style which is um, it is the nude like almost tanny brown shoe with the black on the front here, my ones are from ASOS, got them in a size 8, like I mentioned before, this is a Euro UK size 8 or a European size uh, 41. Oh, it has it in here too. We love you ASOS. Uh, a US size 10. Um, so this has the extension of the shoe right up around here and it buckles on here and also buckles on the side, on this side, which is a bit more stretchy there. It's got the ASOS little design in there. But my shoe, my feet fit so nice and they just complement complement an outfit so well you can um, style these up with a tan outfit with a black outfit or an outfit of another color because you've already got two colors in this one but I feel like with black and tan it doesn't really matter if you've got too many more colors they you know again this color is going to go seamlessly with me even though you know my skin tone's a little different it's still on that gradient of like nudie colors so um, definitely not something that I really worried about with the black. I thought I loved these. This give it that final, almost really elegant touch. You know, it is obviously, I just think of the Chanel style shoe. I'll link the Chanel and this in the same, uh, in the, my description below, just so you can see the two. But I just wanted, for the meantime, whilst I've never tried the Chanel shoe, I fell in love with the details. I wanted just, these were only like 30 Australian dollars. So I was just like, I'll just try these and see if I love them. And I love them. And I probably will probably eventually invest in the Chanel, but we'll see how long these ones last. Because obviously, you know, they're only a $30 shoe, so definitely do your research. I'm finding my only issue with these ones is that the elastic on the side here, it's actually fraying on the inside a little bit. So maybe that's something that I'll look at changing uh, when I continue um, to research different styles of this shoe. So absolutely loved it. Love this you know, almost cuts off the end of your feet whilst the, your leg can extend into the tan. It kind of like just gives it that little, that little detail that brings the whole outfit together and that little bit of elegance that, you know, you, you little need. So styling up this outfit, I put it with my, again, I started up with my white um, jeans, my white flowy jeans from Country Road with those brown buckles, keeping in with this brown tones. I popped on my black uh, cotton tight top. And then over top of that, I put a little like brown cardigan, uh, like jumper just draped over my shoulders. I thought that was just an elegant detail. And then I obviously started up with my gold jewelry. I think I have my gold watch on and my, obviously have my little gold hoops on, my little huggies. And so, yeah. Keeping all those tones, keeping in with my threes, it just felt something so elegant. I felt like I could go out for brunch. I'm actually going out for dinner tonight, so I think I'm going to wear that outfit. And this is, yeah, yeah, that exact outfit. And I felt like almost like I could go on a yacht and sit there and drink wine and just with, pop on some sunglasses and look out over the sunset. I definitely felt like I should be doing that in that outfit, so I fell in love with it. So yes. These are another perfect nudie shoes that's perfect for spring. You know, it's that little bit lighter. You could definitely wear this in summer, but I feel like you'd be sweating a little bit too much, at least in Australia, with something so closed. Um, but perfect for that kind of elegant transition time. 
yeah so that's my second asos shoe i bought those two shoes actually i bought these two and they both came in the wrong size i had just been to the gym and they came in the mail and i was like oh i can't put these on my feet i've just been really sweaty and so my mum looked at them and was like um those aren't gonna fit you and she put them on and she's a size 8 australian and i'm a size 10 australian i was like i'm not even gonna bother putting them on like there's no point so i think there was just a mix up between like what size australia and what size america and so i got these ones anyway but absolutely loved nude shoes are perfect for anyone you know i've got my nude heels before so i will always champion for nude shoes and hopefully you know come out in different shades of nude because everyone's a different color so like everyone should be able to wear a nude shoe that suits their skin color so hopefully anyone it's, if you've seen a company that has like you know in the way that people do multiple different shades of foundation like finally that's coming into into like into makeup but to have different shades of nude shoes would be amazing so if you know a brand that does that please tag me i want to see them and absolute champion for that so last but not least the piece de resistance is a shoe that i wore to my 21st birthday and it's actually the exact outfit that i have started up with for my 21st birthday that was i'm 24 now so that was in 2020 no that was in 2019 yeah because 2020 was the year after and that was 2020. Anyway, I've styled it up actually with this exact dre white dress from Kukai that I purchased for that day. And so with a white dress and technically my birthday is in May, but I was like, it is just, it's too beautiful and it's definitely a, a spring shoe. So, and or just an all rounder that I think everyone should invest in. No, not invest in, but like it's something fun to add to your collection. It's so much fun. I love it. It is a most gorgeous heel, high heel for me that I absolutely fell in love with. I remember going out, I had my outfit, my dress ready for my 21st birthday and I needed, I wanted a shoe that was going to absolutely pop on the day. And I spent hours, hours looking and it was in the last store like of the day and I was so tired and I think my sister was with me and she was so tired and grumpy at me going you've tried on about a hundred shoes and you still not haven't chosen and it was this one like beautiful it's got like the bluey greeny tones with the water colored uh, pink and orange flowers on it it's got a lovely heel at the end of that so really you know showed off my leg when I was able to have my calf like like full-on like showing so and it's got this strap around the top that holds on your ankle I have got quite a high arch so I still like bow a little bit on the shoe but that's okay I love that it has got the strap and it has almost got like this backing to it so it really like you know you do whilst it's like for me, it was a little bit, um, it's still really great. And I think having that backing as well really shows off those colors. You know, it's not just the strip, a strip and strip, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it was so, so perfect for spring. Like if you think spring, you're going to think florals. Like how do you not think, think florals? So this is the most spring shoe I think I could find. So <laughs> that's why I absolutely fell in love with it. Yeah, it is a size 11 because your girl has long legs and big feet and woo <laughs> but yes absolutely fell in love with this so I have styled it up with my beautiful kukai dress I would typically I haven't tanned today so but I would normally tan with this outfit because I'm wearing white and because I'm a pale redhead but yes that's okay I absolutely fell in love with this so if you're thinking of getting a high heel shoe for spring how can you pass up on something that has flowers on it what I do love about this because it's not an obnoxious floral shoe like some shoes you can get like flowers like sitting on them you know and I'm not opposed to that maybe one day I will invest in that but I love that it was almost like it was elegantly understated and elegantly detailed in that you know it wasn't going to be overpowering my whole outfit and like you know it was both I'm trying to express myself <laughs> It's both beautiful in its detail in the watercolor, but also beautiful in the detail and on the shaping of the shoe that it's, you know, very light and airy. And when walking around, I feel like I was, you know, had a spring in my step and like it, the shoes just kind of like flowed with me rather than having like big flowers on the top or a big something on the back, which I'm not against, but I feel like with my white dress and my long legs, they were just like quite plain. It was something that I needed, you know, otherwise it would have been dress and shoe where now it's just like dress and shoe 
I'm just using tone to express how I think it should be. But yes, that is my absolute, it is just like, they're just the most perfect shoe, don't you think? Let me know if you love any of these shoes. Let me know what spring shoes you guys are all loving. Also, if you go to the races, I've never personally been to the horse races, but this is definitely what I imagine people would wear. How can you not? Exactly. Um, so, yes, please like and subscribe. We are growing here. There's a lot more to come. I've got loads planned, loads planned well into next year. So there's lots and lots coming. So I love you all. And I hope you love this little spring shoe haul. And I will see you all next week. All right. Love you. Bye.